Okay, today we are back in Ephesians 4, and we are in verse 12. But before we get to verse 12, we're going to go back just a little bit and talk about when God gave the fivefold ministry gifts. So apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers. So keeping that in mind, we're going to go to verse 12. And he says, and he did this, what? Gave us all different gifts for the works of service. Okay. He gave us these gifts to fully equip us and perfect the saints. Who are the saints? God's people for his works of service. Again, we're going back to serving. It always comes back to serving because God wants us to be others focused and not me focused so that we can build up the body of Christ, the church, God's bride. You know, and I just think about, I've been in many weddings and imagine if you were responsible for making the bride look beautiful. My goodness, you'd be careful with her makeup, her hair, her fingernail polish, every little detail. But yet the body of Christ is God's bride and we are not paying much attention to building her up because we're all focused on our own plans. Okay, let's keep going. Let's look at it in the Passion Translation and it says, their calling, that's us, is to nurture and prepare all the holy believers to do their own works of ministry. I love how the Passion says this because it's not that we're supposed to use our gifts to make people better so they can work for us and improve our ministry. It's so that we can release them into what God called them to do. It's not for our agenda, but it's to release them into God's call in their life. So as we do that, as we release people, as we prepare them, train them up, nurture them and release them, they will enlarge and build up the body of Christ. So going the second mile. Friends, you walk in those fivefold ministry gifts, remember those gifts are to build the body and release them into God's call in their life. That way we can all be built up and Jesus can come for his bride.